I am back today with another high value and budget red dot overview and this one is from CV Life. It's their brand new Jekyll Howe red dot sight with their skeletonized mounting system and low profile mount included in the box. The cool thing about this red dot is it incorporates a lot of really nice features including a 50,000 hour battery life, bright dot and auto on and auto off technology at an affordable price of right around $70. Now, as you guys know, for the release of the video, I always try to negotiate prices and things, especially with companies I'm working with. And CV Life did send this out to the channel and they also dropped the price for my viewers. This comes now in at $61.59. But on top of that, they've created a 15% off discount code for a limited time. That'll be in the description below. That gets you this for about $52 to put it in price perspective comparing it to other red dots on the market making it very affordable now this is one of the cheapest red dots i've seen with all of those features included um, at that price so it's a good opportunity to grab a red dot we'll talk about the specs and features of this red dot it's uh, current performance down at the range i actually have two samples of this red dot and then we're going to go take it down to the range and beat it up with the good old water bottle test to apply g-forces to the red dot to see if it can survive shock or break but that will come later in the video so don't forget to watch that part to see the true durability of this optic where we finally put it to the test now one thing i do want to mention is it does include that high profile mount in the box but it also includes a low profile mount which is nice to ride on top of some type of maybe a pcc or a cz scorpion a akv something like that where you're going to need a low profile mount this is going to be a great option right there that's included, but I've only specifically run this on the high profile mount on the AR. Now, another cool thing about this optic is the dot gets incredibly bright down at the range, very bright. So every single lighting condition is going to work out great. And it also has some really low settings that I believe to be compatible with most night vision. Although a lot of times when I'm running night vision, I'm not looking through an optic at all. I'm using a, an IR designator uh, mounted to the rail system, but something to consider. The top turret is fairly protected by this cutout slot. It's a push button design. The tools are built into the turret caps to adjust it for wind and elevation this thing sighted in perfectly in fact it was pretty much sighted in right out of the box uh, with a few clicks we're good to go the emitter that's located right here stays almost completely buried out of the way it's almost a um, non-existent in the field of view and you don't get a ton of bulkiness with this design and a fairly decent just uh, overall clean picture when you're looking down the optic you do get a slight blue tint um, but that's okay with me because it does allow that reflection of the dot to get very bright on like a bright sunny day it's really good and that blue tint is um you know, it's not very noticeable if at all when you're actually using it down at the range so just a minor detail the glass is fairly clear the dot seems pretty darn crisp at 2 moa and this um this this is a good solid red dot that I've seen. It also has that uh, auto on or auto off technology with the 50,000 hour, hour battery life and the IPX7 waterproof rating. So you're going to be able to get this wet without worrying about any issues there. But those are the general specs and features. Let's head down to the range, put it through some abuse, see how it holds up with that standard water bottle test. And I'll kind of summarize once I get back. Now for the water bottle beatdown of the CV Life. We're going to beat this up with a water bottle to apply G-forces and shock. And surprisingly, that's broken a lot of uh, optics before. So this is a, a very good test. Anything smaller than the size of my hands grouping-wise at the end of this test is definitely a pass. Anything smaller than the size of my fist is an absolute pass. Um, and I've seen optics shift a foot, if not completely off target. So let's fire the first three shots on camera to confirm zero. Then we'll beat it up and see. All right, so it looks like two are in the same hole right here and one right here. Let's continue to shoot it, beat it up, and see what happens. And here we go. Going to smack it on both sides. And first three shots. Not 
down the top. Side. I got pulled one of those to the left. Let's continue to. All right, let's go check it out. And an absolute pass again, way, way smaller than the size of my hand and even way smaller than the size of my fist. This thing did absolutely amazing. Definitely very impressed with the results. So I am back from the range and this thing held up absolutely perfect with no shifts in zero. Again, with that water bottle test, I've seen optics shift two or three feet, break completely off, the mounts come loose, something breaks. So it's a really good indicator of whether a high value and budget optic or just an optic in general is going to be tough enough for your average use. And this is working out great. Now, I've had this optic for a couple of months. We actually waited to do the review until there was a lot of live inventory on Amazon. Again, CV Life did send this out to me. I hate doing a review if there's only going to be like three in stock. Nope, nobody wants that because, you know, if it's good and people want to go grab it, there's just not enough. So I wanted to wait till there was some in stock and I had already begun the testing process and really confirmed in my mind it was great. But that water bottle test really solidified it in my opinion. Again, this is a high value and budget red dot, but with that being said, it really works out great to mate up with something like a high value and budget AR. This is sitting on top of a PSA AR that costs just a touch under 500 for the complete setup. And if you want some of the best information on that, definitely head over to the campsite page in the description below and follow me on Instagram. If you guys are into daily deals, coupons, and discounts, and you're not subscribed to this channel, definitely do so. I focus on high value and budget items that actually work, but I also take a look at some top tier and more premium items. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Would you ever trust a budget red dot like this? I personally have a lot of them, and once they go through my testing and evaluation, they get a stamp of approval for basic range use and a lot of other things. I mean, this one really is elevated above just basic range use to a potentially personal defense, again, with all of those specs and features, and the fact that it's fairly durable down at the range with no issues with the water bottle test. Again, all of the information, linking, and discount codes will be, will be in the description below. That is an affiliate link, so if you decide to click on it, it helps out the channel at no extra cost to you. Just brings you right to the sale. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.